What aspects of a man's life are most women unaware of? My girlfriend set up Bumble for our friend who got divorced, and was genuinely surprised that he didn't have any responses from the matches she picked out within a few hours because she's so used to girls getting bombarded on dating apps. A compliment really makes an impression. A girl told me that she thought it looked nice, when I had my hair a certain way. I've had that hairstyle for one and a half years now. Red really looks good on you. Guess who has a damn lot of red stuff in his closet? Well, not a lot, but I too of each kind of clothing for sure. Coming from a man, if a girl smiles at me, I will remember that smile for a long time. As a woman, I sometimes smile at men in traffic. Seeing their reaction is worth it. Nobody gets hurt because we're all on a mission to different destinations but I'm pretty sure I made their day. I will probably never get the guts to smile at a handsome stranger face to face. I smiled at the guy in the apartment across the street once. We were both staring out of our windows at the same time, looking at a bunch of drunk kids in the street. He followed me to work the next day and asked if I would have sex with him. Bit reluctant to smile since then tbh. As a single mom, I completely forgot that men have to shave their face, until my then 18 year old son was getting ready for a date. He had missed shaving under the jaw corners, and when I pointed it out, he sighed and said, well, I learned to shave from the TV commercials, what do you expect? OF. 4.1. I mean, you probably don't have much experience with it and I've been shaving for almost 10 years and still miss those spots so don't worry too much. The amount of masturbation we do, even when in long-term relationships. You'd be surprised on the other side as well. Dads often don't teach their sons about sex. They just expect sons to learn it elsewhere. My dad described sex as the completion of an erection. No joke. That's all I got. My mom told me when I asked what an orgasm was, it's the culmination of the sexual act. I was honestly a bit scared by the idea for a while there. We very rarely get compliments and if we do, we remember them for the rest of our lives. Seriously though, I am a guy, and at work in the hallway another guy I had never met complimented my new shoes. That was a few years ago. A guy once said to me around 3 years ago you've got the perfect amount of hair on your legs and I'll never forget it. I got catcalled by women once about 5 years ago. I still remember it. Random boners. Between the ages of like 11 to 20, a bloke can have a completely random boner at any time. They don't have to see or do anything that stimulates them. It just happens. That lad in your class who refused to stand at the front to do his presentation today. Ask him again in 5 minutes. As a 63 year old guy, let me assure you, this problem eventually solves itself. Not a man, but I hear they too suffer from eating disorders, and nobody talks about it. We're insecure too. Strong men also cry. Trying not to seem like a pedophile while watching your younger brothers or child in a public place like a swimming pool or park. This is way too relatable. As soon as you're somewhat close to an underage person as an adult and you don't look like their dad slash family member, you immediately get perceived as a possible pedophile. Like I just want to spend some quality time with my brother or a younger friend, I dot he the younger brother of my closest friend. My stepkids are black Hispanic. I'm the world's whitest white man. White people think I'm creeping on minority kids because they're obviously not mine. Black people think I'm a cop harassing them. Ha, people thought my me and my brother was harassing some white chick at school a lot, as we are Mexican. She's my f***ing sister, you dolts. We are quite rude to each other for fun, and triplets. Once even had a cop even stop us, as he thought we were following her to rape her or some shit. That was awkward as she had to explain we were related. He also left with a very embarrassed look on his face. If I'm ever in a place with a bunch of kids, I just randomly yell out at one of them now and then to look like I belong. Hey, I said no running. Oh, one of these kids must be his. Doesn't even have to be the same kid every time, or even a specific one at all, just yell in the general direction of some children, nobody'll notice. I just announce I'm not a pedo. Every couple minutes. That way they all know. Best thing to do is, if you're watching some kids play in a park, if someone asks you which is yours just say I don't know, I haven't decided yet. And stare them out. Ultimate power move. Tired boners. 
Half the time when I'm forcing myself to stay awake for one reason or another I get an erection I could use to break Captain America's shield and it has absolutely nothing to do with being turned on. Shrinkage while running. Is that just me? I'm not a runner so I can't say but I would imagine that it's because blood is being directed other places like your claves maybe. We're likely to have a self-image problem the same way girls do. And look weak if we express it. Freshman year of college I was in a dorm with a floor bathroom. Walked in on one of the frat brothers inspecting his gains in the mirror. He quickly adjusted and pretended to do something else. I was just like hey man nothing wrong with that, we all do it and he seemed so excited and thankful lmao. Went right back to inspecting. And, in men's case, something they can't control, their height, can be deeply distressing. Hell, the average height for an American guy is 5 feet 9 inches and I can't tell you how many dating profiles have casually required taller than that by several inches, the average American woman is just under 5 feet 4 inches. Dick size is another one. My ex just broke up with a guy who couldn't get over how small his arguably average penis was. It really messed with his head in the bedroom. She insisted it was a fine penis. Edit, let's exclude girls who are especially tall, 5'8 plus. My ex is 5 feet 10 inches and has reported some serious insecurity issues with BFs. One slapped her, she broke his nose, and he broke up with her because she made him feel like less of a man. I will say, I've met quite a few Japanese guys in Tokyo who like taller women. In heels. Men and women should chill on height, but men should be allowed to air their grievances as long as they aren't being asses. And I can't tell you how many dating profiles have casually required taller than that by several inches. I've found that it helps if you just imagine those girls as awful people. Edit, well maybe not awful but as a waste of your time going after since they obviously have no interest in you. Sometimes we stare into the distance which just so happens to be the same direction your boobs slash ass are personally this happens a lot and when I realize I just look away really quick. We like hugs too. We're starved of all forms of physical affection because nobody teaches us that it's okay to enjoy it. You know that giant purse you are not paying attention to on public transit? It keeps poking me in the ass. How utterly socially alone we are sometimes. Most women seem to have many friends that they could call on in a second to provide deep emotional support. No guy friend has ever put their arm around me and told me it's going to be okay. I don't know any man I could cry to or just be with if I'm feeling down and desperate. Sure we can relate, and we can complain to each other. We can go out for a drink and talk and listen to problems and give solid advice and be there for the other guy. It doesn't seem the same as the emotional support I see many women have, it's an incredible gift to be able to let yourself go. What's even weirder is when I actually do have the emotional support, I fight it or at least resist at first. I don't know why. It's like it's not women's fault but society's for the stigma that me wanting support is weak. Even after I accept it, it feels strange, like I owe them for the help. Super confusing. How utterly socially alone we are sometimes. This is why men are easier to radicalize. I'm seeing lots of comments about men registering and remembering compliments for years. I'll take that a step further and add that our sense of humor is subject to the same phenomena. If someone, especially female, laughs at a joke of ours, don't be surprised if the material doesn't evolve much over time from that original kind of humor. Ever wonder why dad jokes are timeless? It's because ladies reflexively sigh in that I want to laugh but I don't want to encourage him kind of way but too late. We have registered your grudging appreciation of our terrible puns, and they continue for decades until the next child is born and the cycle begins a new asterisk. Asterisk. How much pure emotional strength it takes to not fix your balls when they stick to your leg in public. We like to be held while we sleep too. I f***ing love it when my woman pets my head and plays with my hair. We love cute things but expressing it makes us look like creeps. Please tell me you find things cute so I know I'm not crazy. I'm an enthusiastic person and people, men especially, always make me feel like what I'm pointing out as cute is stupid and that I'm childish for liking cute stuff. They will then secretly text me cute cat pics or send super cute memes on slack but in public they still let me be considered as weird for loving cute stuff. Let's help each other out a bit. Come on. You're not a creep for liking cute cats at 42, I'm not a kid for liking cute cats at 28. Agreed. Thank you. I find just because I'm bearded and sort of thick I'm expected to be ultra-masculine, dominant, and in control. 
Yeah I just wanna dress nice sometimes and play video games and pet my cat. As a big, tall guy with male resting bitch face, it both. A. Sucks that people seem scared slash intimidated by me sometimes, I don't want to harm you or anyone else. And. B. Sucks that drunk guys want to fight me for no reason sometimes, I don't want to fight, I don't think I'm good at it, leave me alone please. Obligatory edit, damn, this blew up more than any comment I've ever made. Y'all seem cool, have a nice night. Yep, I was playing soccer with friends on a weekend, and these girls from our school rolled up. One of them was making a run, and I ran up on her. She literally screamed when she finally looked up and saw my 6-4 frame coming at her. Her boyfriend gets out of his car and runs over basically already swinging. It's such a joke. 